Hi, my name is Sonics. I'm going to record a game, a few games, um, two games, and in both of them, I'm going to tell you what their uh, attack is and how I'm going to defend against them. Okay, let's wait in for my first opponent. Who is Tame? Oh. Tame Husky Poet, who's from Spanish. Who's from Spanish, please? Oh man, a 500. I don't really have to even explain this, really, because it's so easy. Because you probably already know what's going on in this game. I'm gonna play not so good moves and see how good that he can defend against them. Okay, thank you. Your queen is yummy. Okay, this is a pretty easy one. He just, sorry? Okay, how can you say sorry to me? What do you say sorry to yourself, mostly? Five hundred a week. <sighs> okay. Let's wait for my opponent to see what, who, and what my opponent is doing. He's going to do. Okay, a fourteen hundred. Okay, let's play some D four. Good luck, and I'm off. Okay, let's play the London system. And wait for his next move. Okay, let's just make a little pyramid, waiting for him to start doing some attack. I don't see any good plans for him, except to try to trade with me, which is not a big plan that will affect me. Okay, let's just develop my bishop on e2. To e2. Let's play knight to e5 and wait for his next response. I'm attacking his queen, so he has to do something. Oh man, but he got the fork down. Okay, I was looking at that. I was playing capture and then attack his bishop. And then I was playing to capture his bishop. And then I'm waiting for him to capture back as the pawn so that I can play queen to d2 and then castle. I can still castle whenever I want. But let's first just try to open up the center. Seems like a reasonable idea. Okay, let's defend the pawn. And wait for him to move. Okay, let's just attack his bishop. Let's see what he plans to do. Okay, you capture, I'll capture back. And if you ever castle, you have some big dangers to your king. So let's just wait for him to castle. Oh, I think he's going to castle queenside. I'll castle queenside first. And, and also attack his pawn. Let's capture his pawn. His defense is king there, but he looks like he doesn't accept his defense. Okay, let's play e4. Trying to... Just mostly e defending my e3 pawn by by pushing it a square, and I'm waiting, and I'm gonna play bishop takes d5 six right now. Okay, I'm waiting for him to maybe capture back. Okay, he doesn't even capture back. 
What a lucky surprise. Let's just give him a check and get out of the pin. Oh, yeah, he had to play queen there. So let's just capture it back. And retreat my bishop. Okay. His defense is probably to try to trade. But I said, but I'm, but I'm a-okay with that defense. I'm actually going to try to attack his seventh rank. He's going to try to stop me. Okay, let's attack his pawn and wait for a response. Okay, I'll capture that. That'll cook a pretty juicy pawn. And then let's play the pretty fantastic bishop to b6. Lovely bishop to b6 threatening mate on d8. He just enough much. Oh, that does not stop it. It's still checkmate. Okay, let's play one more game. The second game. Or maybe the third. Okay. Let's play another Queen's Pawn Open. Wait, England Gambit? Are you serious? Okay. Let's just develop my pieces. He's, he's playing to get back that pawn. Okay, I'll block that. And then develop my pieces. Okay, I'm just uh, getting, making sure I get my one, I, my extra pawn safe. And I'm just going to try to develop my pieces now waiting for him to try to strike an attack. Actually, it's a pretty promising opening he has played. But let's just calculate for a second. I'm calculating uh, knight takes. I'm seeing if I can play bishop there. Okay, I guess I am playing bishop there now. Oh, thank you. That's very generous to try to trade with me. That's very good for me. Let's capture and wait for a response. Mm, let's just play queen to e2, getting ready to play knight to d4. Oh, but you decided to pin me. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's just play queen to d2 and let him capture me. Now I can just play knight to d4. And then, now it's just time to Attack his bishop. To attack his bishop and wait for it to retreat. But I'm okay. You retreated there. So now I'm just going to uh, try to attack. But first, I have to get my knight out. Yes, I am giving away one pawn. Uh, well, because I'm not anymore. So let's defend my pawn. Oh, you're putting pressure on my pawn. I'll attack your queen and also defend my pawn. And um, yes, queen there is probably the only move. And then I'll attack your queen again. Oh no, I was not expecting that move. Ah, uh, man. Oh, it's pinned. Now let's attack his queen. See where his queen decides to move. Oh no, that's not, oh man, my 
it's pinned. Play king to e2, getting ready to, uh, to capture his queen. Now I can capture his queen, he forgot. Okay, I am up uh, four points and I'm ready to capture more. Okay, that was, that was a pretty sneaky thing he did, uh, trying to trap, trying to get my bishop. I mean, yeah, he actually did really surprise me. Okay, let's attack, let's, I'm just trying to move his king out of the way. And I'm gonna make a move that he's not expecting. Queen captures, looks like a pretty unexpected move, but let's just play, it's simple. I, his, prob his only move is probably gonna be, uh, his, his only move is probably gonna try to defend against me, but I will just play Queen to e5, his defense is king to e7 or king to d7. His next move, I will play. I'm never going to accept a draw from some old 1100 who's going to lose. That's just silliness. Let's give him a, a check, which shows that I'm not afraid. Please don't go. His defense is either rook to e7 or bishop to e7 okay but i can just give him a check it's a sense what the forces so well i log in okay okay now well, let's capture your rook then now I can give you a, a check. Now you have a pinned bishop, and I'll attack your other bishop to make it run away so that I can play some uh, deflection tactic. In, or just put pressure on the pin piece. Looks like a better idea. Okay. He's planning to try to attack me, but I think I'm going to get there first. He's planning to try to, his only chance is, yeah, that was literally your only chance. And he used it. The only chance he has is here. Okay, let's play deflection tactic. The very best move in this position is definitely e6. It's a pretty crazy move because you because it's either you lose your bishop or your rook. The bishop is definitely a better, I mean, the rook was a better idea. But not if you, only know. okay. That's, let's just play here. To pin his bishop. And now let's attack his bishop. So his only defense is to run away with his king. And then I'll just checkmate him. Okay. I hope you enjoyed Chess with Lennox. And I'll see you next time. Bye.